is a pleasure to be here this evening. Um, we have been here at Ohio University for almost a full week. We have seen your students and your children in the classroom asking great questions, working very hard, and it's a whole other way to see them and their talents. And it, it's a real treat. Uh, we've seen bits of the show as they've been putting it together this week. We're looking forward to seeing the show this evening and the other talents that they have. And we just want to say a few words. Uh, first of all, thanking Mr. Rama and Dr. Mishra for having us here. We've enjoyed our visit. Um, we have been working very hard as part of a technical agreement that the University of South Carolina has with Oro University. And you may not be familiar with the University of South Carolina, and Ray is going to tell you a little bit about it, and then we'll talk a little bit about what we're doing here. Hello. First of all, let me just make an observation. Uh, business schools and business education is about building businesses, it's about transforming communities and societies and making us all um, a, a wealthier people. This group of people, students here, put together this show in a few days, and I'm stunned. People can put together a show like this in such a few days. What are they going to do when they graduate and they start building their businesses and their worlds? This is, this is a truly astonishing achievement. So, congratulations. Let me tell you a little bit about where we come from and the University of South Carolina. I don't know how many of you know where it is, but the University of South Carolina is in South Carolina. It's a state on the eastern seaboard of the United States of America, and it's in the south. The south means that it's warm, like here. The people are warm and friendly and very open, and um, it's actually a very pleasant place to live with a beautiful sea and beautiful mountains. The university itself is one of the oldest public universities in the United States, it was established in 1801, and the central part of the university camp campus is called the Horseshoe. It's a beautiful place with ancient trees and lovely old houses from the um, early 19th century. But the university is more than just a collection of beautiful old houses and trees. It's um, actually a very successful university. It's a tier one research university, which means that we are creating uh, knowledge to shape the future uh, of the world in which we live, together with many other universities. We have 44,000 students. We have about 2,100 faculty, plus other people that teach in the program. We have a wide variety of uh, schools for medicine, law, public health, anthropology, history, the arts, business, and hospitality, retail, and sports management. So it's a well-established university. It's a successful university. I work at the Dalamore School of Business, and the Dalamore School of Business is one of the top-ranked uh, business schools in the USA and in the world. We're particularly um, proud of the fact that international business is one of the, the cornerstones of what we are, and we pay close attention to how we're ranked against our peer organizations, and uh, we're ranked number one or number two in the world, and we have been so for uh, the last 22 years. So our relationship with uh, Oro is to collaborate and work together uh, to bring global business and global uh, international business skills to the students here and, and to uh, the world. So let me pass you to Cheryl. And we have 14 colleges at the university, and I'm with the College of Hospitality, Retail, and Sport Management. And we have a program in hospitality management. There are about 700 students, 17 faculty. We're ranked in the top 10 in leadership in hospitality. And about three years ago, uh, working with HP, Rama, who comes and speaks to our university uh, many times, he talked about his passion and his vision for education and how he wanted to make a difference in giving back to his community in Surat and Gujarat. And he had this idea for building a university. And the more he talked about it, the more passionate he got, the more excited we got about it. And we developed a technical agreement where the University of South Carolina 
will assist or a university in developing faculty and developing a curriculum and helping to develop a premier world-class university right here in Surat. And I can tell you I was here two years ago with HP and I saw the land, nothing was on it. And I can't believe coming back this year to see the buildings and see the reality of a dream that he had uh, several years ago. If I could, I just want to kind of share a little background about how I met HP. Because it was 20 years ago, believe it or not, I know I look young, but it was 20 years ago. He was the president of the American Hotel Lodging Association, which is the big hotel association in America. And during his speech, he talked about his life, where he came from, how he started in the hotel industry, and his passion for education, and his desire to give back. And it was a very, very moving speech. And at the end of his speech, he gave $1 million in scholarships to 13 universities, of which University of South Carolina is one. And throughout the year, working on the board with HP and his brothers, I began to realize this is not just another hotelier or hotel manager. This is a man with a dream. This is a man with integrity. This is a man who, when he decides to build a hotel and he has a Marriott, it's not like every other Marriott. It's better. It's done well. And it's executed and operated above the standard. And now that I see at Aura University, he's doing the same thing. He's taking his passion for education. He's taking his dream and vision and he's making a better university, one that your children will benefit from, one that we're hoping that if your children study hard and work hard, they will have the opportunity to come to University of South Carolina and study there and be with our students and learn from another international perspective. So this is a very, very exciting time. And uh, I know I feel like I'm part of something great and grand that's starting up. And uh, I'm sure your children do, and I hope you do. So we are very, very honored to be here this evening. Um, I want to make sure we cover everything. Uh, and uh, one of the reasons we're here, in addition to developing the curriculum and faculty, is we gave our observations back of what we see and what's being done here. Ray's going to just uh, share with you some of those observations in the short period of time that we've been at Oro. So Cheryl has said, this is the first part of our technical agreement to work together to form a relationship. Um, so we've been here to learn about what's happening at Oro. And I have to tell you, we're very impressed. It's amazing that this university has been going for such a short period of time. And what we found was not only a very interesting and engaging vision, um, a set of values that can be applied to business education, which we believe will transform the way that business is done and the way that communities will flourish, but we find students, we find faculty who actually are very passionate about it, care about it, and it's clear that all of that is being integrated into the curriculum. Let me tell you something else about your sons and daughters, if uh, your parents here. We, we sat with some of them yesterday. We had 10 of them with us yesterday. We met all of them today. Young people who've never met us before, uh, from a strange place, they were so mature, so confident, so articulate, so interesting and engaging that our little interview ended up into a long conversation about, in a sense, global politics and business and many other things. And I have to say that it's not just that they're your children and you've helped them develop them and grow them, but that Oro and its approach to learning has actually encouraged that and has produced these young people who are just so engaging and pleasant to be with. And as I say, very articulate. So that's a great testament to what's going on here and to, and to your children. The, the other thing is that I think that the approach to learning itself and the uh, inspiration and the leadership that we see here um, is changing the way that business happens, not just to, uh, that business education doesn't, doesn't happen in India, but we're gonna take some of these ideas back to the University of South Carolina I'm going to talk about some of these approaches, these values, the, how they link together, how we create a, a whole person who thinks differently about uh, the business of business and how we should actually reflect on 
think about how we might bring some of those to bear as well. As I said earlier, the fact that this show has happened, that they've got the lights, the scenery, the costumes, the music, the, even the smoke machine, all operating together so quickly and so well. Tremendous success. So we're very delighted. What we will be doing is we will be developing a program with the uh, leadership and faculty here. That's how we can share best practice between ourselves to really and truly grow this into a great university. Uh, and when we come back sometime in the future, there will be other buildings here. The children will have graduated. They'll be leading businesses. And um, I just wish you all great success. And like Cheryl, I'm absolutely proud and delighted to have the opportunity to be here at the beginning. And I look forward to seeing it grow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.